Hello there. On our trip across the Dolomites, we are stopping in the little hamlet of Pusels, very close to Pölz and Schleer. As you arrive sort of on, on, on the road towards Pusels, you can see this magnificent castle. It looks like, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a a castle that you would have dreamed of as a 14 year old. It has sort of defensive walls, it has towers, it has a huge big sort of central, the, the so called palace, and it just looks very, very intriguing. That's why I'd like to invite you to join me to have a look at the inside of the castle. center courtyard of uh, Puzzle's castle. You can see the, the beautiful Renaissance paintings in the, in the background. Um, it's an absolutely stunning courtyard. As you walk in, you get this magnificent view of the living palace, of the, 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 the living quarters of the castle. But you can also see the defensive nature of this castle. There's a cistern there which uh, sort of collects 750 hectoliters of water, so the castle could have defended itself. It could have, it could have been besieged for quite a while before the people would have run out of water. Um, but mainly it's a, it's, a, it's defensive structure combined with the beautiful light that it gets, particularly in the afternoon, that um, creates this kind of wow effect in the center courtyard. We are in what's known as the map room of the castle because we have this magnificent example of a map dating back to 1774. The Empress Maria Theresia, Austrian Empress Maria Theresia, had this map designed. She asked her cartographers to draw a map of what was the crown land of Tyrol. So when you have a look at it, you can see the Bavarian border in the south, you can see the Lago di Garda, the Garda Lake in the south, the Venetian mountains um, in, in, in the south, uh, um, southeast. And in between is what was Tyrol then and what is Tyrol Trentino, um, is it Tyrol today. Right in the center of the map we see the castle of Tyrol, uh, of, uh, of Brüssel, I should say, um, where we are at the moment. So it is in the center of, of South Tyrol, today's North Tyrol being the North and Trentino in the South. The map, despite being 250 years old, is almost 100% accurate. There is only 0.0. Um, Eight percentage inaccuracy in this map, which is quite remarkable considering how old the map is and how limited the, the, the means of, uh, of measuring landscape were at the time. The castle is full of special places such as this. Uh, which takes in the afternoon sunlight and is absolutely dropped and gorgeous because you're sitting in a little alcove above the actual wall so you can look outside into, into the landscape and enjoy the most magnificent views the castle has to offer. Okay, we're now on the rooftop terrace of Brüssel's castle and you can see it's one of the most magnificent views that you'll ever get in South Tyrol. You have the Schlern mountain in the background, which is kind of the iconic mountain of the South Tyrolians. Um, you see another a couple of Dolomite mountains in the background. Um, the castle has a magnificent view in that it's kind of protruding literally into the Isaac Valley. It's sitting on a rock and it's very easy to defend because there's only one access to the castle. Um, to, to the three sides behind me and to the, my right and to my left, the, cast, the hill slopes down tremendously deep, 600, 700 meters deep, so the castle is very easy to defend. It would have been very easy to defend. It was never ex actually besieged 
possibly because it was so difficult to um, to, to besiege. The other thing that's very interesting about this, um, the location of Brussels Castle, is that it's right beside what used to be the old trade route between Innsbruck and Verona, it's between what's today Austria and, and, and northern Italy, and that road, unlike today's Brenner motorway, would have gone sort of across the mountains, sort of high high up in the high up uh, in the mountains, not down in the valleys as we have the Brenner motorway today. Um, simply to avoid high waters, rocks falling and bandits um, trying to, 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 to steal the goods from the tradesmen. Okay, finally, and this is literally, quite literally, the icing on the cake, we have to stop at a little cafe at the gate of the castle and enjoy a beautiful little South Tyrolean cafe in the beautiful autumn sunshine. See you next time, see you soon. Thank you very much for joining us on our trip to Brussels Castle. Okay, I'll get you.